Nicole recently stopped to fill her gas tank on her way to work in Apple Valley, Minnesota. It was a particularly freezing day and the temperature dropped under 10 degrees. While waiting in her car, she noticed a middle-aged man standing at the pump crying. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. I began to wonder what happened with this man, and as I got out of my car and looked at him, my heart felt like it stopped," Nicole wrote on Facebook. Then she realized what the man was wearing. There in the frigid cold, flip-flops with raggedy socks. That's when Nicole looked inside the man's car and saw a heartbreaking sight. The man's wife was also sobbing, covering her face. His two daughters were huddled in the back seat, wrapped up in a blanket. Nicole immediately approached the man and asked him what was wrong. With tears in his eyes, this hopeless stranger admitted that he couldn't provide for his family. Nicole could tell she was looking at a broken man. But what happened next is taking the internet by storm, and it's something everyone should hear. So I was just on my way to work and I had to stop for gas, so I allowed myself some extra time to get to work. When I pulled up to the pump, I shut my car off and saw this middle-aged man crying at the gas pumps. I began to wonder what happened with this man, and as I got out of my car and looked at him, my heart felt like it stopped. In Apple Valley, Minnesota, it's 10 degrees and freezing cold with the wind. This man was wearing flip-flops with socks covered in holes. I look at his car and see his wife in the front seat, covering her face and her hands, and the two teenage girls both cuddling under a blanket in the back seat. I didn't even think, and I went up to the man and I said, Sir, is something the matter? He looked at me and I could tell he was on the verge of giving up because he didn't even try to conceal his tears when he said, I can't even provide for my family. Without even thinking, I put my card in his machine and told him, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died to provide for you. Fill up. Something, something came alive in him. He was in shock and it was like he forgot how to pump gas. In that same moment, his wife got out of her car she asked her husband what was going on, and he told her I just paid for their gas. She started to cry and came around the corner to shake my hand. I saw her pants dirty and torn. I asked her to come to my car. The airport lost some of my luggage on my way to Minnesota from California, and I had to clean out my closet to find stuff to wear and get rid of a lot of stuff. All that stuff that I had yet to give away was sitting in the back seat of my car and in the trunk. I opened up my car and told the lady to take whatever she wanted. This lady ran back to her car. I was so afraid I just embarrassed her. But then a moment later, her and her two girls were digging through those clothes, layering my sweatshirts and shirts and sweatpants over the worn out clothes they'd been wearing. Soon the father had finished pumping the gas and came over. This attracted a little crowd at the gas station. And some older man gave the family a gift card and another middle-aged man gave away his jacket to the father. Never in my life did I think I would see this kind of thing happen at a gas station with a handful of complete strangers. But it gives me hope that the love of God can be so contagious, that we're not alone in being the change we want to see in the world, that God's love is greater than anything, and we get to be a part of that love changing lives. And He always provides. Please share this incredible story with your friends and spread the love.